what to do good people it's a and b here coming back with another what we're gonna call um what the news will not show tiktok edition all right so i hope everybody's been doing good there's been a lot of changes going on within the united states and around the complete world as well um i'm happy that you're tuned in if you are here um this is I guess you can call like my new series or something like that. It's not like I'm on TikTok every single day uploading videos, but I like to keep people informed just as I am as into what is going on around the world. Um, so the first one I'm going to kick off is about a fire, which has been a trend at a couple different facilities. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drop that video and I'll be right back. Nothing to see here. Quite interesting stuff there. Um, I'm actually sharing that because no matter where you are, we're all noticing the rise in prices. Our uh, president also announced the fact that we would be impacted by this war that's taking place, which would then lead to higher prices just internationally because we do a lot of trading with those countries and places that are under oppression and under under war strain um so it's it's very ironic that plants are, are catching on fire such as purdue which we know is is a big facility that is used to transport poultry goods it's something that we use everywhere especially in america so to see that it's on fire amongst others that have been um on fire um, a lot of facilities where they're housing fruits and vegetables for instance which is why you see the rise in prices of the fruits and vegetables so I find it very interesting how this was mentioned that the prices would go up yes there's supposed to be issues with transporting these goods and maybe limitations the prices may be higher but it's very weird that these places have been set on fire somehow in some way, which incredibly decreases the amount of production that they can actually produce. What do you say about that? It's 2022, people. All right, so the next video I'm about to hop into is similar to this one, and it's taking place in St. Lucia. I'm going to go ahead and drop that one, and I'll be right back. Breaking right news in St. Lucia. Industries. And there's a big crisis right now at the bank. No money in the ATMs. Everything is a kind of way right now. So we're just watching what's going on. But there's a crisis right here in our banks. People want long line of everything. No money in the ATM. The banks are running scared. Something is going on. Talk to the power. Stay tuned. Keep your mind open. Something is going on. Another very interesting video. This is taking place in St. Lucia as of today. That was actually posted today. Unlike St. Lucia, we're not seeing those major deficits over here in America per se. I have personally seen over here on the East Coast a lot of banks that are closing, a lot of Bank of America branches, for instance. A lot of them, um, a lot of the branches actually coming together, such as your your SunTrust and Truist and, and things like that. So you're seeing a, a lot of these changes going on, as well as going into various stores since the beginning of the pandemic. And <clears throat> most of them say credit card only or, you know, low one chain. So you must have exact. It's quite evident if you're even into stock just a little bit to see what the value of gold is and, and the value of a coin is. Um, as well as the value of a dollar. The value of a dollar is actually zero and it's been that way for quite some time. So this is long overdue. It reminds you of the Great Depression. Just because it's not happening here per se doesn't mean that it, it can't trickle down and affect us as well. So you're seeing places such as St. Lucia um, not having access to their money. I'm just putting it out there for people who feel that privy to maybe, you know, start removing their money from the banks. I'm, I've been hearing that a lot in america but i'm not here to to spread conspiracy videos these videos are real time with real people going through real situations and it seems to be a great way to spread the message because it's it's receipts 
it's it's happening in in real time there is no speculation about it it's just this so like i'm like i said you know even in your local walmart you have to have exact change most of the time or you have to use a credit card that's just the way that it's been so keep your eyes open next video i'm going to show is just it's amazing it's tragic at the same time but it's amazing there was recently a tornado in wichita i believe it was on february 29th and just to see how it it formed first of all i didn't hear about a tornado i didn't hear about saint lucia and their lack of money you know we also didn't hear about the fire you know so these are things that to me are real news this because it's not taking place in your backyard we are all one in the sense of it, it affects us all um so the same thing goes with this it almost looks spiritual to me you know um thankfully I, I didn't hear any reports of any lives being lost if i miss representing that i do apologize but i didn't hear about any lives being lost but i did see a lot of houses being affected by this tornado so let's go ahead and check it out oh my god dayton this is amazing Dayton, Dayton watched it form right over there. We called it, bro. Where'd you look? I'm still going. Shit. Oh my god. Hey, let's get inside, huh? Are we gonna go check this out once this thing passes? Yeah. That's houses. Yeah. Oh my God! There it goes again. Oh my God! I gotta call Brock. Oh my God. No, we're not where any of us should be. Yes, I tried to Yeah, I don't have too much commentary on that one. Like I said, it's it definitely looks spiritual. It's definitely scary to see. And I hope that everybody is okay in that situation and that they're able to recover from everything that they lost because it seems like it was definitely hitting a lot of houses. And they also posted uh, quite a few more follow-up videos. I always let the videos play so that you can actually see the tag. Go on TikTok yourself and you can actually see it yourself. I'm just not going to post every single clip. <laughs> All right, so the next video that I'm going to show, or videos that I will show, directly relate to the pandemic. I find this one to be very interesting. It kind of reminds me of like um, what we'll call Omarion, um, that strand, um, or Delta, like the flight, for instance. Uh, the different variants that have came out over the course of time. Um, these two videos kind of correspond with that, so I'll let them play, and I'll be right back with my commentation. So while y'all getting distracted, they've developed this. It's already affected 112 countries and 10 states in the United States. Four children have already contracted it. One has already died. Three needed a liver transplant. Otherwise, very healthy children, all under the age of 10. And adenovirus is a combination of viruses, gastrointestinal virus, okay, pneumonia, and COVID-19 mixed together to create a very deadly virus to kill our children because the first one wasn't hitting like it was supposed to. Now they got y'all off guard sending your kids to school with no mask on and they've developed this. I'm gonna need y'all to wake up. I'm going to need y'all to wake up, stop getting distracted, and pay attention. Yeah, honestly, I, I rather 
for that to not be true what's going on in Alabama that sounds like um, a triple threat to some degree pneumonia mixed with uh, the 19 and something else and I had no idea that it had already affected that many people in that many different countries um, so I just want to send prayers out to everyone that's being affected by this new quote-unquote variant that's going around um, and affecting our children that's that's very unfortunate and it's also intriguing to see because a lot of people are waking up and realizing whether this thing is natural or not whether it was created from SARS right or a lab right there is something ominous about it there is something very targeted about it it's not even like targeted to one specific race just more of a people and and just to affect as many as possible you can see that coming true we know that it's true if you have common sense we know that it's true from the ups and downs of the mass mandates the travel restrictions just how long people have been locked down like we're seeing in shanghai we're seeing in places different places in china where people have not been able to leave their home, like literally locked in their home, being chased down the street because they want to leave home. And, you know, and, and that is a direct relation to the lockdown that they are going through today. Wow. What makes us that much different? It, we're, we're not. We're not. So just be prepared for, for anything, just as I am. This is not to scare anybody. This is just what's going on. It, it literally is stranger than fiction. Okay. All right, so the next one that I'm going to drop is just something interesting, which to me, you know, with a little bit of common sense, it is probably true. I, I can't believe that people are coming out with so much information that's very pertinent to our very existence and our privacy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show this video and I'll be right back. According to Department of Homeland Security reports, Facebook has replaced almost every other CIA information gathering program since it was launched in 2004. After years of secretly monitoring the public, we were astounded so many people would willingly publicize where they live, their religious and political views, an alphabetized list of all their friends, personal email addresses, phone numbers, hundreds of photos of themselves. Uh, and even status updates about what they were doing moment to moment. It is truly a dream come true for the CIA. Much of the credit belongs to CIA agent Mark Zuckerberg, who runs the day-to-day -day Facebook operation for the agency. The decorated agent, codenamed the Overlord, was recently awarded the prestigious Medal of Intelligence Commendation for his work with the Facebook program, which he has called, quote, the single most powerful tool for population control ever created. Among the biggest successes of the Facebook program is Operation Farmville, which the CIA credits with pacifying as many as 85 million people after unemployment rates rose. Yeah, we have little to no privacy. If you have a cell phone, you have no privacy. At this point, if you have a TV, you have no privacy. If you have Gmail, you have no privacy. If you got OnStar, some sort of GPS connected in your car, especially if you got one of those trackers from your insurance company, you have no privacy. If you have your location turned on on your phone, there is no privacy. It's really changed to that. You know, everything is super connected. Um, just like they say we're connected spiritually, we are connected physically through means of mankind. Through things that we have created, maybe not me, maybe not you, but within the time frame that we are alive in this era, nine times out of ten, if you are not off the grid, that means you are on the grid. You play some part in this matrix and keeping it going. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but in terms of people who do not have the best intentions, they do negative, nefarious things with this information, it's crazy. And every time we hear the CIA, we cringe. It's cringeworthy because it's such a mystery, it's shrouded in secrecy. And to know this, because we know this, even if you download an application, one of the very first things that they do is ask for permissions to your camera, to your photos. It could be to the microphone, on your phone, and, and there is no telling what they're doing with this information. Could be listening, right? That's why YouTube is so popular right now with people coming out with information because what difference does it make? I have nothing to hide and I fear no one except for God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and I hope that you believe and know that too. We are in a time where we can't just believe anymore. Believing is subpar. You have to know. And if you don't know, then it's not, right? It's either a hell yes or it's a hell no, right? So I'm, I'm quite aware of that. <clears throat> I wear it on my sleeve. It is a part of my character. This is who I am. I have nothing to hide. You know, you can watch all you want, um, but this is me. I will never be tricked into a system that I don't fit into, 
you know, it's like trying to fit a, a shoe that's too small. Anyway, the last video is just something that happened in Cancun at the airport. Like I said, this is just local news from different parts of the world, and it's scary. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that video. I'm going to come back and wrap up my commentation. All right. Oh, my mama, bro. What the I need to go home. Yeah, so there was um some some sort of shooting that took place. Shout out to the black woman who wanted to keep that other young lady calm. It's crazy how we've been uh, desensitized, but we can work that out to our advantage. You know, not every weakness is actually a weakness. Even though we have been desensitized, we can keep our calm in some of those situations, see the scene for what it is, and um, get out of the situation. So I'm happy that you know, they made it out of it. I'm pretty sure some lives were lost. And it's unfortunate. Cancun is a place where people go to vacation. So just stay vigilant at all times. We are living in a very different era, as you can see. And if you are alive, if you are watching this video, if you are to come across information like this, just know that we are all a part of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's all happening for a very divine reason at the end of the day. Whether it be super, super positive or super negative. I think that the next video that I'm going to drop will be an actual conspiracy video. Where we can both or all of us weigh in on if we, we believe in its validity or not. You know? Sometimes it's just interesting to get into those things because it expands the mind. It helps you to think a little bit more. And I'll also share some of my theories. Uh, once again, I want to pray for everybody that's in Shanghai. I want to pray for everybody that has been impacted in Alabama and those other countries as well. Um, and, and, and all of those people in Wichita. You know, I want to pray for us all that we'll be okay. It's a lot of people posting videos about... Um, excuse me. <clears throat> There's a lot of people posting videos out there about... Um, possible power outages and different things that you can do to avoid being impacted by that. So I may do a video dropping, like I said, different conspiracies and maybe some different materials that people can either read, research, or buy for themselves just to feel a little bit more secure in such unsure times. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And until we see or meet again, my friends, I hope that everyone has a beautiful day, beautiful weekend, beautiful dreams, you know good vibes, good food, good energy, and peace because we all need it. Spread a little bit of love, pay it forward, give out the kindness of your heart, hold the door for your neighbor, listen to people when they're talking, respond in kindness and truth. We have no time for false information. We have no time for people to deceive. Deception is being sought and seen by the discernible eye at 100% degree these days. You know, you could try if you want. You may be able to get over on some people, but if you're able to get over on that person, their vibration is exactly where you are. So the game is a lot less fun. You know, people need competition, which is why they go after, you know, the super high vibrational people, the super empathic people, because that's a challenge, you know, as, as we rise in vibration, we see things for what they truly are, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to be here, to be alive, to be able to use my voice, not even to create this big platform, but just to be myself, just to be myself. And I hope that you're being yourself as well until we meet again, my friends, peace.